Happy Sunday everyone, it's Ian Parallax and today we are going to do an arena battle breakdown. That's right, we're going to take those battles to 1x and look hard and try to find out what my team's doing well and what my team needs improving. So not only that, we have a lot of other surprises planned, so keep watching. How is everyone doing? Like I said, we are in the Crystal Crown League arena. We're going to go in, we're going to focus mainly on the Crystal Crown League. Maybe after we do a few battles and look at them, we'll go to the Trial of Champions, explain a little bit of the strategy um, behind it, even though I usually don't <laughs> focus too much on trying to climb that ladder. Uh, but we'll go over the, a little bit of the strategy behind that as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try to take on some decent opponents like this guy, Thorongle. So I, I probably shouldn't even try to pronounce these guys' names. So he has a pretty solid lineup. Belrain, um, Ashia, uh, Amuvor, uh, Cruz, Faithblade. Haven't seen too many of him around. Um, and Valk. So we're going to try to th go up and we are not going to skip the battle. So we are going to keep this lineup, I'm pretty sure. We got our KB and we're and the rest of our squad and we're going to see kind of what how how the battle pans out. I have a little more might, but when it's that close, um, I've lost to people with a lot more might. Uh, are a lot less might than me, and I've also beat people with a little more might than me. So we're going to just dive right in. So let's take a look and see how it pans out. Usually I'm putting it on 2x, so we have queen going first. Um, really my team all team got to almost kill that faith blade. Hopefully, there we go. So we got a good start. My team went first in almost all cases. Um, only... Cruz is doing, a, KB is just dropping bombs. There we go. A mover, ooh, that hurts. His, uh, his Valk is, let's see if Dragon can, can, or stun some people. There we go, that's a good stun. Oh, I think we're, ooh, come on. I just don't, it's, I don't think we have enough heals. Oh, we might get it, it's going to be close. I think we got it. So it's weird looking at everything in slow motion. The good thing is, oh, that was that was pretty solid. So the good thing is, a lot of my team went first in that case. So we got off the the demon hunter um, alt. So we got some key silences. We're really able to take out Faith Blade almost immediately. It seemed like our Val our Valk did more damage, but it seemed like their Valk was. I guess maybe because of the spot that she had them in was living longer. Um, but it was pretty, I mean, let's see the heals. It really wasn't, they had, where's Cruz? See there, Cruz did about zero healing. Mardell Bell Rain just was raining heals. But the only thing that I wish, I wish you could do in the middle of the battles, like some other games, you can pause and look at stats, the current stats, and like buffs and debuffs. I think that would be pretty cool in helping build a team, analyzing all that stuff. But you see here, we, I mean, he didn't even have a, a full E3. So I think if he would have had an E3 cruise or just something else E3, we might have lost in that situation. But really, Queen didn't do very much damage for me at all. So we'll do another one. Obviously, KB, uh, Valk, and and uh, Amuvor were the were the big damage dealers. So we'll do another battle. Um, I really have um, Demon Hunter in there for the silences, but she's supposed to be doing damage, and if she's not doing damage, and it might have just been the situation. And I don't think she was stunned. Um, so let's try. What do we got here? Ooh, man, that one would be. He's got some CC there. Let's. We might do. Let's try this guy. He's got Asmo, Valentino, Valk, Bell Rain. Lots of Bell Rains. Maybe I should have. 
And I wonder how Vesa or Vesa is right now, excuse me, with her buff. But enough chit chat, let's get into another battle. Let's just go for it. Let's see how it pans out. Let's see if we who attacks first and all that. Oh, let's see his uh his demon hunter went first, silencing my Yeah, we got a three silence. That's pretty good. So back and forth, man, that crit on on Queen. So let's see. We got some good silences in there. We haven't been stunned because Valentina has been silenced pretty much the entire time, um, which is good. So he's just been throwing presents. But also my KB has been silenced um, literally the whole time. See, block. See, Queen just got is just getting wrecked. I don't think she's doing very much damage. But we are getting really lucky. Oh, there, here. Oh, yep, there it is. The Valentino. We had Valentino pretty much insta silenced for the majority of the time. So we might, if we can get that Bell Rain out of there, nice. We have, oh, there comes the deer. I think we're we're riding on the edge. Yeah, I think we're done, so that, that deer is just going to probably do too much heals for us. Man. I don't know. We got KB, though, who seems to last forever. He's got his... He's just dropping presents on everyone. We're about to get the hammer, though, from uh, the Garen sword from Asmodel here soon. So we'll see when that drops. <laughs> it actually didn't do too much. But we are extended battles. This is kind of crazy how down to the wire. Oh, I'm KB's just dropping hammers on people. <laughs> Obviously, he's not doing too much. Um, if, if this could... Oh, so we need to know. We could have had it, I think, if that one have came in there. That's crazy how down to the wire that was. Um, but really, we'll have to take a look. I don't know if Queen is really doing anything for me. Queen really isn't. She might be the next one that I replace. And I'm just curious. Look, she's done no healing, no damage really at all kb with 37 million damage that is he just didn't die and kept pumping out damage and we are very close very close but look at her bell look at that bell rain with 20 million healing 20 million heck i really need to just get rid of queen if i could swap queen queen excuse me with bell rain um, and even Cruz, I mean, my K or even Omnivore. So let's see. Let's let's take a look. So it's looking like Queen. We'll do a few more battles, but it seems we'll we'll face someone that isn't as high, and we'll see. Cause again, Nobel Rain. Let's see what happens. Who's this one? Yeah, Aspen and Golly. I don't. I think we get Rock there. But let's try this. We're gonna try it again. I'm really heck. I might swap in the um, Blood Blade for the Queen. Why? Because I've had battles where Blood Blade has dealt 10 million damage. So in, right off the bat, Omnivore is silenced. We got some good silences on our Cruz. Um, every one of their team is pretty much CC'd except Demon Hunter. So if we can get a quick start. Um, and, and knock, well, we're pretty, there we go. Quick start, knock some of, woo, that heal, whatever that heal was, was pretty intense, and wow, so he just unloaded upon, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be, um, yeah, that's good, wow, see his omnivore, um, and whatchamacallit, 13.7, even Horus over there, dealing mad deeps. Hmm. Again, Queen. Queen's just not not performing um, at all. So I think let's let's do a little swap. Let's do a little swap. I think I could go back and refight these people. So we're gonna try to swap out right there and see how that goes. Because usually, I mean, everyone's like, blah, blah, blood blade's so bad. Other than this is probably not going to be a good way to go. His demon hunter, I'm pretty sure, went first. Basically, completely silenced my whole team. So we can fast forward this one. We're going to get r unloaded on. Um, we've been insta silenced for the whole time. So that was not a good indication of 
But that was a good example of how going first, and I don't even know how, geez, that Valentino, Lord. Alrighty, so let's try that again. But I hope everyone's having a good time. I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. It's been beautiful weather um, over here. Um, I love that the sun's coming out. It's giving me more energy. I get to go outside a whole lot more. So I don't, I don't even know what is. We're, we're still getting rocked. We still got rocked pretty hard. Um, dang. Valk's trying to stay alive. That Valentino with his the CC. Yeah, even Bloodblade. Hmm. So I'm even going to throw in. This is. The, I mean, he's got a solid team here. I didn't realize Horus does some good damage. The one thing, too, that really hurts me, and I'll go through and I'll show you guys. I do not have very many, like, high tier artifacts, right? Like, I have some, like, this is probably my best, and I have it on Queen, so I might want to look at, if I'm not even going to have her in the squad, who could benefit from speed attack block? Valk is all HP, I'm pretty sure, and damage resistance, or reduction, excuse me. May, I mean, he, he's crit attack? Hmm. Trying to think, what does this guy got? He's got, yeah, damage reduction and HP, which we want. We definitely want energy and skill damage because we want her. Hmm, maybe throw that. Bloodblade here just has really attack and attack against Ranger, which isn't very good. Ah, hmm. I like the Augustus Magic Ball, I just don't know who to put it on. Huh. But I think that's something we're going to need to do, swap out from Queen. Um, but, like, I don't have any antlers. I don't have any of the the the, the last whisper or whatever it is the, for the armor pierce and, and all that stuff. Um, so, hmm. And, heck, maybe these need to be adjusted. So we have to, I mean, basically, he's doing, KB is doing his job. He's staying alive, dealing a bunch of sustained damage. Um, but just because he's dealing sustained damage, I need someone to, to finish and do big, big damage. So I don't, I want to, and if I, or if I'm going to do the sustained damage, I need some heals like a bell rain in there. Um, because I can't, I've got a little bit of CC. Uh, here is some good sustain, but Queen, who's supposed to be, who actually was doing uh, a lot of solid work for me just now it seems hasn't I have our increased attack healing and when enemies with you're, you're supposed to be dealing what's this one when a round ends but she's dying I mean we could try to activate this one so especially on some of those battles that are lasting a long time we'll try that We'll just throw all attack. I doubt it's going to do enough, um, but we'll do a few more battles, and then we'll kind of get an analysis and try to see what we need. And it's kind of awesome. I don't know if you guys remember, but like back, way, way back when it first started, I used to watch like all of the battles because it took forever to get to the point where you could without to have or where you could skip in two times. Um, and then even skipping battles and all that was relatively new in retrospect if you go back two years. Um, but I really understood like what heroes were good, what heroes I wanted. And it's something that it was refreshing going back and doing because it really helps you see, especially when you slow it down, who's doing well, who's not. I mean, what is... Because sometimes when you skip a battle and then you do like, oh, I lost. You just look at the damage. Someone might not have done really well. Like Valk might have got, or I don't know, Valentino maybe this time did really bad. But he was really CC'd or hard stunned the whole game or like the whole round. So like, or battle or whatever you want to call it. So it's really nice going through, slowing it down um, and looking at that. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to throw Queen back in there. 
I am really looking though to replace probably replace that queen with an Aspen um, but we really need some damage so I'm I just don't know or some some big damage like we have a lot of sustained damage like Valk and and KB um, and I was hoping a mover or a move or excuse me was going to be able to kind of finish people off but I mean what do we have on him I'll just take a quick look just to see because we have crit let's look at stats here we go um so 42 percent crit but his kind of low crit damage um no block well, well we'll take a look at that we'll take a look at that all later um we'll do one or two more battles with wow that's intense 33 million we don't want to fight him we'll do dark angel this should be a good one. We'll see how good uh, Vesa is, because I might that might have been a mistake to uh, to can her and try to get a cruise. Um but we'll see. I mean, here has changed, so it is what it is. But that's why I don't like going through. So really, there, Valentino, man, is that CC is just so good. Like he just he it it's like at least two, and I mean like for that whole battle we had. I mean, now we're still slowly holding in there. Now we're getting some silences. We're dropping hammers. But it's really, it's too late. Like, we don't have enough healing um, to last being CC'd. So I think that's my problem. At least with this squad, I don't think Cruz is giving me enough, um, enough healing. He's definitely not doing damage. Look at that. Like, almost a, a 9 million healing compared to 3.5. Right, I know we were CC'd a lot, but still, like we're not. I don't think we're getting the damage output from him that we need. So with the weaken, and it's so I know he's CC. So all right, armors up, healing. They have double heals. I'm trying to go the crit route, um, but I just don't know. Maybe heck, maybe it's because he also has a good bit of healing from that from the deer. So maybe that 1 million really and whatever cc's coming from drag is not is not worth it it's kind of it's awesome to go through and look cuz you can't just have a few good heroes and throw them on you really got a combo so he had a good mix of um cc dps and, and healing so he was just able to to cc me in the beginning i had no healing at that point so let's do one more time we'll fight dark angel and I just want to see if we don't get insta-gibbed in the first round, or if less people get stunned in the beginning. So, so there are only three, so it's better. We silenced him, which will be good. We really needed that vase of silence, but still, like, <laughs> unloaded. We're still getting a lot of blocks. We're still here, cruises. But at that point, yeah, we're just getting mowed down. Valk was pretty much instant. We did it worse that time. Yeah, look at that. Jeez, oh man. See there? Oh, we had a. We didn't have Queen in there. That's what we wanted to see. But see, 5.6, so not terrible. But yeah, no healing. Very little damage, maybe. Let's try to mix something up then. Let's go battle him again. And sorry, we're just going back over. We're just trying to find. And this is what you guys can do. Just look and see what your team needs and I know it's situational um, but just play around like see what works what doesn't so and maybe it's my order but I, I don't know I think we definitely need here here and here and I don't really know how much this matters we could put that well, we could put them there and maybe maybe that will do something but I really other than the first three spots I really don't think um, it matters much so that right there if we have any chance of winning it's going to be right now. Why? Because we silenced their, the, uh, but even, <laughs> look at that. She got that super heal. She's about to do her other heal. Um, but this was probably, this is going to be our best chance of winning. So we'll see if we can get that. If you can, come on, before, there we go. I mean, it's going to come right back. Come on, throw your silence, Demon Hunter. There we go. We, this was, kind of went too perfectly. So this is like what would have to happen for me to win this battle 
and we and we might not even win. Um, we might still lose. We'll see. Is the Valk versus the Horus? All right. So that is exactly what happened had to happen. And if you could see at the beginning of that battle, we silenced the Valentino and the Vesa multiple times. Uh, and that is exactly what had to happen for us to win. So I'm just curious. See, Queen, I mean, did she did a decent, a little bit of damage there, a little more. So that was kind of perfect. But again, Cruz, no damage, no healing. Um, but I think I actually like, in that case, I like the deer. Um, we'll try another battle. We'll see. We'll try... Seems like everyone now, or most people, a lot of people are rocking the deer. This should be a pretty a pretty decent fight. A lot of people having that Valentino for that CC in there. So if we can silence him, which, did we? Or is that, nope, that's under. So only two there. Two silence, two stun, that's not too bad. Um, I'm interested to see how that Aspen's doing, or how much damage he does, because he's going to be on my team soon. So... Doesn't isn't looking good from what I can see. Um, got some heals, but I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near enough. They both have skulls on them. That's probably not good. Boom! Ouch! Ouchy! Ouchy! Wah wah! So let's go here again. Val KB doing solid. No one else really did anything at that point. Oh man, I am excited. Because, heck, do you got, I wonder, we're going to try one more thing. Uh, obviously, we don't have an E3 Aspen. We are kind of, I mean, we need a few more fodder heroes. And we probably don't have the artifact that they do. But, hmm. But I just think Queen, we're, we're going we're gonna to take Queen off the lineup. I bet, I bet, I bet we're going to do one more battle. And then I keep saying that. But I think Aspen, no joke, I think Aspen is going to be able to deal more damage than, than uh, Queen. I might be wrong, but I might not be. So let's just take a, take a peek. We'll throw, we'll throw him in there to see how it goes. Decent silence, but we, as you can see, everyone is silenced uh, or stunned. So this is a probably isn't going to be a good but as long as we can keep pumping out those demon hunter silences um, I don't think it's going to be enough obviously but I guess you if you do look at it though um, the cruise was keeping demon hunter alive for a pretty solid amount of time or has been so but that's okay let's see what happened do 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 Alrighty, so Aspen didn't deal any damage, <laughs> but I can't remember if he was stunned or not. We'll do one more just to see. I didn't, rem I wasn't paying attention to him. We're gonna focus on him specifically. He might have got one shot. Um, oh, we silenced the Val. Oh, we silenced the Valentina. That's huge. Aspen's getting. There we go. It'll be nice if Aspen gets his ult off, but he might get. Oh, we're doing that. That. This is, that is what has to happen. Valentino is someone I know I have, I have no mage tech. So I really need to get mage tech. Um, right now we're, we're rocking the Warriors. We should win, I hope. But if Aspen solos my team, I'm going to be severely upset. Um, there we go. So that is what, basically, when I CC their... Um, excuse me, Valentino, things go a lot better for me. And so that is, see, this, those things, I, I had Queen, she was doing some damage, but here, I think this is it. I mean, we'll rock the, we rock the, the deer. The deer is what's going to give me my healing. Um, Cruz did a good job at that point, I think. Um, but look at that, 6.5 million as a, 10 star and I couldn't even get Queen got 6.5 mil 
on her best day. So I think we're going to go. I don't even know if it's going to be what. Um, we'll go back here. So Queen's been benched. Um, we're going to replace that with, I don't know, doesn't matter. What's this? Is this for Abyss? Yeah, that's still a decent artifact. But we'll go through Aspen. We're going to look over, because he has his heals. I, or I really want to enable him to E1. I Also, I might actually buy that Dragon Warrior. That might be the one thing that I break down and do. Um, what am I trying to do? Where am I going? Here. He didn't even have any gear on. Or a stone. Oh my goodness. And 6.5 million. So I thought I got... Did I not get... Hmm. Just curious. I thought I got... Um. Maybe I waited. I think I waited. Oh, because I got the... Uh, I got him assassin gear. Which might have been a mistake. Oh well. Oh no, I got assassin gear because the assassin gear can transfer over to my heart watcher eventually so that's why I got assassin gear I would have got more warrior gear um, if I knew that that's what I was going to be doing so we'll go forward I mean that's the best we can do right now we're gonna upgrade we're gonna lose a lot of money I don't know I have to go and spend more time and look we'll look at his some of uh, Aspen skills but that was just a arena battle breakdown I hope you guys enjoyed actually taking a look at the battles and, and from that, playing around. Um, and yes, certain situations, you'll, you'll be able, some heroes might not perform as well. Make sure you're looking at how long they're CC'd. Um, but just Queen, we found Queen wasn't performing. Um, and she had been for me in the past because I've had done this and I looked. Uh, but now, just with my current team and how the other current uh, heroes are set up. We just couldn't get here, get her to deal enough damage. So Aspen threw him in there without any gear, without a a smacked stone, no artifact, and still did six point uh, six point five or six point nine million. So we're going through spending. We'll see what it crit and HP. I I don't think that's what we want. Um, let's see, what do we got? God, so long. 20% of targets, yep. Attack, horror, unable to use normal attacks. Shield, 5 shields, adds 20%. Okay, 6% damage reduce. Increase HP, attack, crit chance, armor break. Hmm. <laughs> Aspen's every attack grants him 15% attack. 15% crit damage or so friends twice. Mm. Alright, so what do, what do we got here? We have a high block already because we have that um we have whatchamacallit on. We have some skill damage. Pretty good crit percent. Um I think we might go some crit damage, really. Um try to focus probably not crit chance. I really don't want any more. I think his crit chance crit or crit damage boost per attack um we might want hp what is he at now 2.4 with 16 i don't know cuz he's not going to be in the main line so maybe we'll have to see i'll go i'll, I'll probably but I'm not going to lie i'll probably go look what other people do with him um, and just and, and I'll, I'll take some time I'll look over and we'll again just play around and see I don't think what is it oh because that's why it is crit and HP well that that might we'll, we'll see we'll leave it at that for now because his crit damage and attack boosts um, each attack so we'll leave it at that we'll do one more battle just to see how those tests go then we're going to dive into some of the other things we had planned. I know this has been a longer video, or it's going to be a longer video, but it's you got to take some time when you're breaking down um, and trying to analyze your team. And if your team's not performing, this is what I, I do recommend you look. Cause look at the arena. Look at who you're facing. Look at Valentino's basically everywhere. Oh, there's a flame strike. Dang, this should be funny. We're, we're about to get cheesed, but... 
we'll, we'll do one battle after this too. Um, just see what's going on. Just because you have the highest might, because Queen gave me a huge bite boost, um, it doesn't mean that that's what we should do. So right now we're only we're not too bad. We only got if we could get this off without Aspen dying. No, that's okay. Yeah, no good. Let's see. Come on, instant. Uh, dang. All right, let's see. Did Flame Strike deal a bunch of damage? Yes, and deals a bunch of damage, and then they nerf Flame Strike, and she does no damage. So that's okay. That's why I said we're gonna get cheesed, cause Flame Strike cheese. Alrighty, all Abyss team. Never have I ever. Uh, I mean, I've seen all Abyss teams, but I haven't seen very many all Abyss teams this late. Um, so I'm, I want to see if this works. Oh, we're going too fast. So good. Scary stunned. Both scaries are stunned. That was that was good. If we can get one of those, if we could kill one of those. Um, before it alts us and starts critting us like crazy, that'll be good. So that was a big heal from something. Um, come on, kill this scary, please. Come, man. Alrighty, good. Double. St keep them silenced. Come on, finish them. There we go. Alrighty. So if we can, I feel. I'm, I'll feel confident. If we can take out um, that scary, if we could take that scary out before the crit starts becoming, oh come on, there we go. That was a, that's what we need. I'm still the KBs are fighting, but I think we have numbers now. Um, we might, yeah, we got numbers. We got enough heal, and this is what I said. Look at the KB. Like KB can last well into a battle and not even have to worry, but he just deals a lot of sustained damage. So hopefully here, there we go. We were able to take him out. Let's see what the what it looked like. Aspen Aspen died a little bit early there. Um, he really kind of needs to get to E3 just so the stats. Look, 19 million, but there we go. There this this was a good good outcome. Um, we did what we needed. We silenced the two scaries. Um, so, but that is it. I think we're going to leave it at that for the time being. Um, we probably are going to change, um, Aspen Stone. We're going to get him whenever that next, uh, um, whatever you call it, the Grey Dwarves event comes up, we'll get another set of, of, um, Warrior, whether it's Aspen or whether it's Asmodal, but I think it's going to be Aspen. He's kind of already proved himself, and sorry, I'm a little... A little congested this morning, um, so that's why I sound a little nasally. I just woke up, <laughs> but we're gonna go over. So that was the hero or the the arena battle breakdown. Now we're gonna quickly go in and not gonna be anything too crazy, but we're gonna head to the map and we are going to see how far we're level 242, so we can fully complete. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure my squads at this point, we're going to just run through them. Um, none of these, none of these battles um, at this point in the campaign have ever given me, excuse me, have ever given me trouble. So this is just going to be to see how far we can progress. Um, I have been missing out on a little bit of uh, extra XP, gold and all that stuff. Because usually I forget, um, I just level up, level up, level up. And then I'll, I'll do one time, I'll go through and get as far as I can. Oh, excuse me. Um, so it looks like we're going to at least, and now you probably can hear my dog, Penny. Dog drinking on her water right next to right next to my computer. Um, so we're just going to keep going forward. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying it. Uh, end the weekend. We still have a little bit of time left this Sunday. Uh, and we made uh, we know we're gonna get rid of that queen might get rid of Cruz uh, eventually for like a bell rain or something but we will see um, so that was super super useful uh, we found a lot of things that we kind of had missed over or looked over and like with Queen having the Augustus 
uh, Magic Ball, and uh, I don't know how much good that's really doing on <laughs> Aspen, but uh, it is better than whatever other artifact I probably have. But we'll we'll take a little look. We'll take a little more time. I'll do that kind of off uh, off video, and then once we again get that race to E3, we'll talk about it more. Um, but going through, it's been very eventful. I'm probably not going to even. I'll probably just go through. I was going to do the um, Wishing Well event on video, but I really don't think it's uh, it's real. I would have, I mean, there's nothing. I might get one five-star hero, but it's going to be nothing too much. We can get two. We'll do two battles, then we're going to head back where I think we're three levels from breaking into the last difficulty and still, as you can see, no challenge at all yet. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if the campaign with the difficulties and all that with my team, because it's basically I have a maxed E3 team. I don't have the best E3 team, but I'm wondering if that's going to have any, um, if we're going to have any trouble, because um, that's really what I think would be cool. Uh, having having a campaign gets to the point where you're not level long. Um, where you're actually um, difficulty locked and you need to mix your team up a little bit, but we'll have to see. So that's, we're going to actually take the map, we're going to go back to the ancient runes, we're going to go battle there. So it looks like we'll be getting some, let's look at the loot. Nothing too fancy, same old, same old. Really, I really want orange, ex I want a way to get, other than spending mega money in... Uh, a campaign or excuse me in a, a weekly event to get an exclusive orange artifact so we're going to just go through here I mean it's probably not the best team but do 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 go through trying to make sure I don't forget to do these little morning refreshes so that is really we are going to do a little bit more but I think that's all we're going to do for today we did an arena battle breakdown we learned a lot about our squad a lot about the changes we need to make. I got a lot more direction on potentially where I want to go uh, moving forward. Uh, it's EM Parallax here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit me with a like. Hit me with a subscribe if you want more great content. Next thing, still working on and getting closer is a five-star, how to get five-star heroes guide. It was the most voted upon guide um, when I did a poll by the community. So we are continuing to work and bring you guys an awesome guide that tells you all the ways and hints to get uh, five star here. So be on the lookout for that coming up in the next week or two. Uh, but I love you guys and girls. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Ian Parallax here. And remember, it's all about how you look at things.